the new monday the 14th of october and we're already two weeks into the month of october which is right seems like it's running mm -hmm. like it's running away from us but anyways mm -hmm. guys my name is koja trey this is three music tv and you're watching breaking bites i'm here with the lovely nakoshi lamte you're looking good now thank I you like you your, look good too yeah, just right, look at us you're yeah, both we're in today. black jacket yeah. black hair yeah the only thing is that i don't have my glasses yeah, on of course but, of course yeah. but you should let me know what you're wearing tomorrow we didn't plan this by the way you know let me know what you're wearing tomorrow oh but i'm wearing show. a cover and a sleep tomorrow yeah i'll see but i'll see what i'll do about, about the colors <laughs> <laughs> yeah but guys you're welcome to yet another episode of breaking bites we're going to be bringing you some of the juiciest stuff that happened over the weekend how yeah. was your weekend yeah m well my weekend was um so so i had a lot going on i, mm. I didn't have fun mm. yeah i had to rest because i wasn't feeling too well and i also had other things to attend to i so. i on the other hand mm. had loads of fun yeah and i can't wait to unpack each and every one of it for you guys you're welcome to breaking bites right here on three music tv exactly where we get to bring you all the entertainment stories before we get into what we have for you today let's check out our word of the day that is built e s P E C I A L L Y with a correct pronunciation, especially. Now, this is used to single out one person, thing, or situation over all others to emphasize the importance or significance of something. And this is our word of the day, especially. And I just read out the meaning for you guys. So, Trip is going to give us two sentences that have the word especially in there shall we well luckily for you guys you might get three sentences because i have something that i want to you know use the word awesome. especially for before we get into my two sentences i'm especially jealous that now i had a great weekend and i didn't get to have a great weekend i'm so sorry i'm here yeah. to share all of it with you okay don't worry all right. that's great then so our first sentence is the concert was amazing, especially the final performance, which had everyone cheering. The mm. concert was amazing, especially the final performance, which had everyone cheering. And I'm, I'm sure, sure that's this how you is linked. Yeah, I'm sure this is linked to to the weekend. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I see what you guys did there. But anyway, uh, our second sentence also says, "I love all fruits, especially strawberries, when they are fresh and sweet. Mm. I love all fruits, especially, especially." strawberries when they are fresh and sweet who doesn't love fruits exactly what i was yeah. about to say mm, exactly what i, I was about to say fruits. let's unpack all the stories now on saturday was the most talked about biggest beach festival mm. in west africa let's talk about the performances like i mentioned earlier mm. right let us start with el all right guys so yeah saturday was tidal rave which was held at the la palm royal beach and this ran all through the day till the next morning oh. it had beautiful performances the setup the stage the people i feel like tidal rave has one of the most decent crowd like yeah el <laughs> this guy finished performing he was even going backstage and we're literally begging him to stay to stay because <clears throat> him performing like it was so nostalgic like everything he performed his coco minal bopo all in black and i'm not surprised we are both in yeah today <laughs> yes telepathy is working right the yes. l is so good and he also has a new song with the j that he calls Delilah. So guys, if you haven't seen it, go ahead and stream it. And now let's talk about, I don't know if I should talk about Kwesi Yatha or Black Cherry Fest. Which one would you so, so prefer I go for? I, um, I wasn't there, mm -hmm. but I saw stuff online. I think the crowd, like you said, decent crowd, very engaging audience yeah. as well. I saw Kwesi Yatha's performance with the Gary and all of that. You know, and I saw what Blacko also did with his performance and then taking a, a moment to yeah, highlight the Galamsey issue, the I think. Thing. Like, he did so well. Yeah. Like, he did so well. You know, you know Black Sherry, right? Anytime he's on stage, he leaves a mark. Okay. One way or the other, he always leaves a mark. His choreography, everything was just on point. And he was super selective About with the, the models okay. he brought on stage. 
Exactly. Because he knows that, okay, once I bring these people on stage and then they do what they have to do, people are going to keep talking. I see. And the people also gave him time to also start vibing to the song. This guy was dancing. And you know yeah, the funny uh, thing? We were at our workstation, right? Yeah. All the way at the back. We are at the production area. And then just when he was introduced to come on stage, Sheena and I had to maneuver our way around all the way to the to front. The front. <laughs> and you know the funny thing? When we go to the front, it was so hard to see. I was telling Sheena that, look, woman, we had be, we had, we had to be back there. Yeah, that, that, that was yes. the only way you guys were But you know the place. funny thing? There was this very tall guy that was standing behind us. I was like, please, eh, I, I can't see. I can't see you, black hole. Uh, so he was like, you want me to raise you? I said, yes. So he raised you. I thought this guy was just going to raise me for two seconds. The he pulled me was, all over his shoulders. Yeah. For the entire performance. And yeah, I was, I was the tallest. I would say I was the tallest person standing. Right? And I was saying, and you know, because I was on his shoulders, like, I couldn't really... Mm. Move my body like I wanted to. So I was like, yo, please, pull me down, okay? Luckily enough, as at the time I got down, I could see from where I was standing. Mm -hmm. I was like, yo. I, I like how you're you are, you are narrating your experience, guys. <laughs> if you weren't at Tidal Rave over the weekend, you can tell, like, you know. Even I know that I missed out. You can right. tell how, you know, how. You know, this, how, this was actually my first time being there. And I was like, have I been here? Yeah. Now I'm asking myself the same and, question. And I, don't, and I don't even regret it because I feel like if I had been there over these past few years, I would have, have been, enjoyed it as yes, much as I would have been probably no tired. Yes, exactly. Right. But because I was there for the very first time, the people, like I mentioned, the people were so decent, they were so nice. I got to meet quite a number of new people. It was, it was such a lovely time for me. Yeah. And I'm not even done talking about the performances, right? Yeah. Like you mentioned, you saw excerpts of Kwesi yeah. performances, right? So you know the thing people kept saying that Kwesi has left the scene? Mm -hmm. There, right? Over there, a tidal rave. I was like, no. Kwesi was performing and my, my, my eyes were so filled with tears. You know, I just can't not raise the feeling, but it was a really, really good one for him to perform like most of his biggest hits. And you know, he has tons of them, yeah. right? He has Life on 233, he has Don't Keep Me Waiting with Kitty, he has African Girl with Shatawali. He performed all of that. Do you know what and I want to know? Tell me. When is the next title review? Because, yes. <laughs> <laughs> guys, like, I know that I had other things to do and mm -hmm. I also had to rest. Mm -hmm. But can we do Tidal Rave again, guys? <laughs> Honestly, let's do Tidal Rave again, okay? This weekend or something, just for me. Because now, because she's making me feel like I was at the wrong place over the weekend. Trip, I'm, I'm not even copied. I'm not copied. Because, you know, it got to a time, right? With the way I was singing back to back, right? One of the girls raised her hand for me to give her a high five yeah so i was like because you were enjoying yourself too much. All of the, like those around me were looking back to see who's that girl shouting singing from her lungs because right. let's finish talking about the performances right i just want to wrap it up with stone boy's performance mm. stone boy also did so well yeah his MC, his hype man, OG mm -hmm. the MC, came on stage to give him all the accolades for like, should I say three minutes? And then we were just waiting for the man to come. And I was like, yo, can you just excuse us? Let's just have the moment of our lives. And then he came, he, he came into the, the telephone booth, right? So if you are the far end, you wouldn't realize because mm -hmm. they turned out the That was part the of light. the set. Yes, on, okay. yes. They turned out the light at the time and mm -hmm. then he was, he like, he came to hide in there. So after all the accolades, after all the introduction, oh man, he stepped out of the telephone booth like that with his dancers. 
And you know, he also highlighted the Galamse, Stop the Galamse okay. fight. And it was also very beautiful. I, I like, I like that. I like that uh, with all the fun and excitement mm -hmm. going on. These artists, who are some of our top tier artists, took the opportunity to highlight some of the issues that are currently yeah. going on in the country. Yeah. So that's like a very laudable thing. The other thing that I'm not very excited about is the fact that you're making me feel like I really made a mistake over the weekend. And I really want to go back. <laughs> Three key points. One, if you weren't at Hydra with over the weekend, you do yourself. That goes for me as well. Two, can we do Tidal Rave again? And three, can we do Tidal Rave again? <laughs> like, honestly, guys. But if you weren't there, at least I, I'm sure that now Koshi's, you know, narrative or narration has given you an idea as to what happened over the weekend. You're definitely not going to want to miss out on the next Tidal Rave. I saw Accept and I know that it was amazing. Also coupled with, you know, the experience of Nakoshi here, which is making me a little sad and I want to cry a little bit, but for our next story, which is actually a sad one, I think we transitioned the sadness, you know, from me not being at the, um, you know, tidal rave into this next story. And it's a, it's a really surprising one when I, I saw yeah. it over the weekend as well. Daughter of um, currently incarcerated artist R. Kelly has also claimed that her father sexually abused her as a child. Now, if it was someone else who abused me, I'm not saying that would be okay or that is all, all right, but then I would not be surprised, you know. But this is surprising, especially considering the fact that it's coming from her own father. Yeah. And I think that if there was any opportunity or chance of absolution for R. Kelly, this kind of takes all the chances away, you know, because if your daughter is accusing you of sexually abusing her, then it means that every other person who has accused you of sexual abuse Ooh. or any kind of abuse is probably in the right. And I don't know how this is going to affect him because mm -hmm. he's already serving a jail sentence. Of 30 know. years. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how this is going to add to that. Hey. But he might never come out or he might never see the light of day again. It's rather very you unfortunate. Know, even before this story came out, mm -hmm. I was so heartbroken. Like it always brings me some some sort some sort of sadness when I am being reminded that our Kelly is still behind bars. Cause I listen to his songs and I go like, "Yo, this man doesn't deserve to be in jail, right?" Yeah, but now that changes but, your perception. Yes. Yeah. Cause she says it happened when she was about eight or nine, nine years old, and she used to she would wake up to it to him touching her. And then pretend it wasn't happening. Yeah. You know, pretend to be asleep. Was so and then from that day onward, she never was, she was never the same. She became an entirely different person. I mean, that would happen to anyone or that could happen to you if you were also abused or touched in an inappropriate way by someone that you consider family, especially your father. So that is, you know, something that is uh, very worrying. It's very disturbing. I can't even begin to imagine what that would be like uh, for don't anyone. Don't you think these these kind of things are not normal? Like well, they, like... It has, it has psychological yes, you know, implications or whatever. How would you see your bloodline, like your daughter... Your own daughter, yeah, and feel that way that towards you her. gave birth to. Yeah see her and be sexually aroused i don't get it yeah i think it's a it's 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 a you know it's a it's i don't know it's I, can't, I, I, I can't defense. say i can't even defend it i'm not even trying to defend it but i can't even say anything that's going to make it sound reasonable enough you get what i'm saying so let's see how this one unfolds but due to the the nature of this story i, I actually want us to proceed and move on mm. to so let's check out our funny video of the day take a look That was actually very funny. I don't know what he's preparing for, but I, I feel I have a feeling that he has been watching a lot of anime. Yeah, because that was like that was like a, a, a ninja or a jujitsu thing, you know, the whole like using force to to break stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and it was his, his <clears throat> facial expression for me, like super serious. It was serious. how serious he was about it. Hey. Yeah. Anyway, so moving away from that funny video. <laughs> Of black we're heading straight into our top listers today so today we're looking at the top five largest dams in the world the top five 
largest dams in the world i don't know if you know what a dam is but if we didn't have a dam you wouldn't have electricity and you wouldn't be able to watch us on whichever device that you're watching us from so the first one or the, the fifth one is the Ohay Dam in the United States, which was built in 1963, said the structure volume with a, it has a structure volume of 70.3 million cubic meters, 75 meters tall, with a reservoir of 29 billion cubic meters, and has an installed capacity of 786 megawatts, and is a temporary earth fill embankment dam. Temporary. At number four. We have the whole trip jig that is located in the Netherlands and this was built in 1968 mm -hmm. and has a structure volume of 78 million cubic meters mm -hmm. and 14 meters in height. The reservoir holds 13 billion cubic meters. Though there is no installed capacity mm -hmm. listed, it is a temporary earth fill embankment dam. To Turkey. You know the dam which was built in 1990 says the Ataturk Dam. And I think they get the name, or the name is derived from the name of the country as well. Mm -hmm. The Ataturk Dam, which was built in 1990, says it has a structure volume of 84.5 million cubic meters, standing at 166 meters tall, mm -hmm. with a reservoir of 48.7 billion cubic meters, and generates 2,400 megawatts, and is a temporary earth fill embankment dam as well so that's a number three in turkey okay. they have the dam that is like a fort right mm. we have the fort peg dam okay. it, which is in the united states mm -hmm. and it was built in 1940 yeah. it has a structure volume of 96 million cubic meters with a height of 67 Seven to six. Mm -hmm. so 6 7 to 6.4 yeah. meters and a reservoir volume of 23 billion cubic meters. Its installed capacity is 185 megawatts and it is also a temporary earth fill. Dam. And at number one, we have the Tarbella Dam in Pakistan. I wasn't mm. expecting that, but it was built in 1976 and is the largest with a structure volume of 153 million cubic meters and a height of 143 meters. The, the reservoir holds 13.7 billion cubic meters and the dam generates 4,888 megawatts. It is a temporary air fill air or embankment dam as well, guys. And that's the largest dam in the world. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite artist of all time actually turned 45 years today and i'm talking about the man asha asha raymond he turns 45 today like i mentioned earlier is there anyone under the sun who doesn't know asha asha is known for r and b hits like yeah you got it bad in confessions he's also a singer and a dancer and i wanted to say he's actually an actor because i already mm -hmm. mentioned that he's an artist mm -hmm. but this guy is also an actor and a dancer as well do you do you enjoy his choreography anytime he's on set yeah i mean i've been listening to archer since i was legit you know so um yeah he's totally. so good yeah <laughs> totally but he's not the only one that's celebrating his birthday of today, course, of course. Of no. course. We also have George Floyd. I don't know how to feel about this yeah. one. But, um, a really, really, really sad one. Yeah, George Floyd is known for his death in May 2020, which sparked global protests against police brutality and racial injustice after a Minneapolis officer kneeled on his neck for over nine minutes and he was born on October 14, 1973. He would be 50 years old if he were alive today, guys. May he continue to rest in peace, uh, George Floyd. Now. All right, guys. So it's time to test your creativity skills. And today on our emojis <coughs> game, as displayed oh, on man. your screen, <laughs> we have a very long, different arrays of emojis. Yeah. We have the snow. We have a snowman. We also have the cloud, a crown, two uh, women. Mm -hmm. We also have some stars. Should I say this is an image of Someone a blowing, goddess? Blowing cold a air. A goddess blowing cold air. Cold air. Mm. We also have the musical notes. And lastly, we have the queen. Yeah. 
the queen. This should be like really easy to Very get. Very easy, like too easy. Don't disappoint me. Because okay. for this, I remember the title mm. very and the, well. And the emojis that, are very, like, you know, expressive. They're, they're, they're clue enough, guys. Yeah, so guys, whatever you think this is, whether it's a movie or it's a title mm -hmm. of a song, share your thoughts with us in the comment section. This is where we bring down the curtains on today's episode of Break and Bite, mm -hmm. right here on Theory Music TV. We hope you enjoy every dose yeah. of it like yeah. we did remember that breaking bites comes your way each and every monday wednesday and friday, friday at 6 p.m with and the, the repeat broadcast, broadcast repeat at 9 p.m i got it right this time right yeah, you did. yeah. High awesome five. great <laughs> great guys it's been exciting coming your way catch us again on the next episode of breaking bites also uh subscribe to our socials our youtube uh watch us on tv go yeah. to our instagram our x and yeah. tiktok as get well get interactive with us exactly just do we and are keep dropping cool. your comments we are guys keep chill. dropping your comments <laughs>